Hey guys, it's Tika and welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be making these gorgeous cake sickles. And if you're interested in more small batch recipes like the ones you see here, feel free to subscribe and don't forget to click the bell so you can be notified every time I post a video. So we have the normal ingredients today. We have some cake filling and some luster dust with a little bit of lemon extract. We have some chocolate and of course my choco maker in a couple of bowls. I have some sprinkles and some ribbon and I have my mold and a couple of popsicle sticks. So the first thing I like to do is prepare my chocolate. So I'm adding in a little bit of vegetable oil just to loosen things up and keep my chocolate nice and smooth and creamy so I can get this beautiful marble effect. Since we're gonna be achieving this marble look without dipping our cake sickles in any chocolate, I have a small bowl here and I'm just gonna add a couple of tablespoons of white chocolate. This is my base color. So this is the color that we're going to see the most. Now this effect looks great with at least three colors, so I'm also going to add in a little bit of blue and a little bit of red. I'm gonna take a popsicle stick and I'm gonna give this just a little, little stir. You do not wanna mix too much because then you'll end up bleeding all of your colors together. And then I'm gonna take this mixture and I'm gonna pour it right into my mold. And then I'm just gonna gently tap this around to make sure that all of my chocolate gets into all of the crevices of my mold. And this is how you get that beautiful marble effect. Now just let that hang out for a few minutes before you fill in the other sections. I chose to go with a solid red, a marble blue, and a marble white look today, but you can use any color combination that you want. And once you've filled in each section, let that hang out in the freezer for about 10 minutes. Once everything's nice and chill, we can go ahead and start adding in all of our cake filling. And then I'm just going to dab my popsicle stick in a little bit of chocolate and I'm gonna slide that right in. Now, as you can see here, I left a little space between my cake and the edge of my chocolate. This is so when we add on that last layer of chocolate, it has something that it can cling on to. If you do not have that little extra space, then the back of your cake sickle will fall off and we don't want that. Then I'm just gonna take the back of a butter knife and I'm gonna smooth and level out all this chocolate. And I'm gonna finish up the rest. Now this is gonna go back in the freezer for about 30 minutes. And when they come out, oh my gosh, like they look so good. I, I love them. Let's go ahead and start decorating. So as you can see, my red one had a little trauma, but that's okay because I intended on turning this into a flag. So I'm just going to add a little blue to the corner of my cake sickle. And using a popsicle stick, I'm just going to smooth everything out. And then I'm going to take a couple of sprinkles and I'm just gonna add them right on top. And as a finishing touch, I am just gonna drizzle a little white chocolate. Oh my gosh, I think it's so cute. Now we're gonna head back over to that luster dust that we forgot about, I'm sure. And we're gonna add in a few drops of lemon extract. And with a paintbrush, we're just going to mix this all in. And we're gonna paint this mixture right on top of our cake sickles. And you can do this any way you want. Whatever you feel is going to accent your marble the best, just do your thing. I feel like this gold just really came through on this blue. I just, I, oh, I think it's like my favorite video I've done so far. And that's it guys, as a finishing touch, I just added some really cute festive bows. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for all the love I got on my last Cake Sickles video, and I will catch you guys in the next one.